Hey guys, uh, let's work on assignment 6.2. I'm inside my chapter 6 folder under my assignments. I'm gonna create a new file geodatabase. I'm gonna call it assignment 6.2. You can call it anything you want. I'm gonna create a couple of feature classes here inside the database. I'm gonna call it parking lot. Uh, it's going to be a polygon feature class and then I'm going to use the state plane coordinate system 1983 US feet for Pennsylvania South click on next go with the defaults and do the same thing for the next feature class which is going to be bus stops bus stops it's going to be a point feature class click on next and you can actually import the, the coordinate system of the of the feature class that you just imported which should be in your assignments chapter 6 parking lots click on next go with the defaults so now we created those fe two feature classes now, now I will switch to my map document I'm gonna add to start with I'm just gonna add uh, my CMU campus aerial photographs uh, the 2 tip files that you find in the folder and then add my campus map drawing and click on that click add data the next step is to actually um, right click on the polyline uh, layer go to properties in the drawing layers tab disable the rest except the economic buildings because that's all we are concerned with right click on the polyline click on data click on export data and then you're gonna have to export it to the assignment 62 gdb and call it the CAD Gs. I'm gonna click OK click OK add to the map I'm gonna remove my CAD layer so as you can see these two are entirely uh, different though those have different spatial differences because this particular CAD file or the shape file that we just exported as a CAD buildings it doesn't have a spatial difference so that's the main task of this exercise is to add a spatial reference or geo reference these features so the first step is to click on editor start editing select all these features and try to move them closer to are aerial photographs but it's gonna say it can't be done because they are out of bounds so there is a little fix to this issue so let's stop editing go back to our catalog uh, refresh your database and now right click on academic buildings click on export to geo database single and then from here what we are gonna do is export it to the same geo database again but this time 62 click at uh, I'm gonna call it economic buildings but this time go to environments and in the output coordinates make sure you have you have it selected as the Pennsylvania South FIPS and click on OK click on OK again now it's gonna be exported as economic buildings in, inside the same geo database and that's important because that would uh, have a spatial reference which would enable us to edit uh, and spatially move and readjust these features so I can remove these economic buildings uh, that was previously created I'm gonna add economic buildings again so that's the that's created the second time I'm gonna start editing I'm gonna select all my features here move them closer to my aerial photographs excellent now I'm gonna zoom to those features to the entire map and now I'm gonna have to find unique features which I can use to actually uh, adjust these uh, buildings so I'm gonna pick on that building create a bookmark and now I'm gonna go to my aerial photograph select the building 
uh, which is actually uh, it's the same feature that I, uh, that we just saw so I'm gonna create another bookmark here go to bookmark one and start editing uh, and enable your spatial adjustment toolbar click on displacement links select our all four corners bookmark two okay, let's see which one's all okay bookmark two oh, that's that I'm gonna select that and that's gonna be that you see what I'm trying to do I'm just trying to do the spatial match you know as accurately as I can right now because the aerial is not super accurate right now so I added four you can add more if you want I'm gonna click on adjust so as you can see my building is properly lined up I'm pretty I'm fairly happy I would say with this result I'm gonna zoom out a little more and see that some of the buildings are not really lined up but you know I'm not really worried about the accuracy for this part of the exercise I'm gonna click on save edits I'm gonna click on stop editing and the second part is to actually uh, I'm gonna change the academic buildings uh, to maybe like a light yellow so that I can see on top of the aerial and now I'm gonna add the two layers that we created uh, that is the parking lots and the bus stops so add my parking lots and bus stops to the map and now what I'm gonna do is change my bus stops to bus I'm gonna choose a symbol to that represents a bus or something like that so that it's, it look, comes out on the map because it's an information map I'm gonna change this to maybe like a beige or something like that add some transparency let's go with the yellow add some transparency to it add 50% transparency now I'm gonna draw some parking lots and some bus stops so go to start editing again but as you can see you don't have a template for editing your parking lots or your bus stops I'm gonna create a couple of uh, templates here so now I got my templates uh, first things first I'm gonna start adding some bus stops I know that there are bus stops somewhere there there and there and then I'm gonna edit some parking lots I'm gonna zoom to this big parking lot right here start editing essentially click on polygon and basically go around it you can be more precise if you want yeah. for this demonstration I'm not gonna worry about precision that much okay I say that's a parking lot I'm gonna come down here looks like that's a parking lot too okay so so that's it stuff like that and then you can save your work editor save it it's stop editing and then the next step is to actually create a layout that would file print and page setup I'm gonna go with the landscape because that's how the campus is I'm gonna add some titles and and some legend and north arrows and stuff I'm gonna zoom real close to this part of the campus and export it as a JPEG and that's it so once you are done your map should look something like this so I submit it on blackboard and that's it we are good to go thanks guys thanks for watching